Today, I get to do two of my favorite things in the world. Number one, making a juicy bait title. Number two, talking about shit I hate in the Pokemon community. First, let's acknowledge this before the angry kids go typing. I am an absolute hypocrite, let it be known, because the very same thing I'm about to get on these PokeTubers' asses for is the same exact thing I am doing right now at this very moment. Now, on to the meat of the video. Why would I say that this guy, aka Logan Paul, with no relation to Pokemon within his YouTube career, now owns this community? Backstory. Logan Paul released a video about opening some rare Pokemon card box, probably first edition if I'm assuming, and I'll be honest, I kind of glanced at the video, I never really watched it, but when I saw it on trending, I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. But, here's where my kind of, my psychic intuition comes into play. The moment I saw this video, I knew, I knew for a fact that every PokeTuber and their mother is going to be reacting to this, and I was more or less on the money with that assumption. Now, let's get this straight. Let's not misconstrue this right here. I have no issue with people reacting to video. That is not what I'm here to scrutinize people on. That's not what this is about. So, let's answer this question. What is my issue? The manner in which these people carried out this reaction video, plus the obvious motive. Also, I have no issue with what Logan Paul did with the card opening, whatever. Not a PokeTuber, not my problem. So here is the first thing I noticed in pretty much all of these guys' videos. Logan Paul's name, first thing you saw on the title. Now obviously that's just smart business, but you know, immediate observation. Second, they all had this surprised face like they just saw someone get shot or something. It was hella over exaggerated if we're being completely honest. Now, let's talk about actually wait, wait, wait. i just want to say i'm not going to name who did what you know uh if you're really into the community you could probably figure out who's who but i'll just leave it at that i'm gonna try and not name names now i here's here's the thing i really did not like i could have replaced each and every one of these pokeTubers face cams with a fucking apple not even a gif a static image of an apple and the entertainment value would have been exactly the same. Now, is, is that just me or is that absolutely pathetic? Now, what I'm trying to say here is these reaction videos reached PokeTuber review levels of effort, aka piss poor effort. I mean, it was kind of just sad to see a bunch of these big PokeTubers shove out the most laziest, uninspired video that I've ever seen, and we all know the motive, and if you're not getting it by now, watch this clip. Hello, I like money. Now, I'm gonna coin a new phrase here, and this phrase goes by the name of Pulling a Verlicify. Now, let me explain. No hate towards Verlicify intended here, but Verlicify's perception within the community is he's this guy that just shits out content that is poorly made, low effort, and is just made to get cash. And that is exactly, and when I say exactly, I mean exactly what these people did here. I mean, let's keep it real. This is a big PokeTuber's pipe dream. Like, this is probably their mindset. You're telling me you're combining Pokemon pack openings, which have a very wide demographic, and in addition, you're throwing in a pretty much a religious figure to these kids who like these Pokemon pack openings, and I don't even have to be entertaining or do any complex editing. Oh, sign me up. Now, I'll keep it real. If this was my full-time job, which it is not, 
I would have been so down to do this. This is just, it's a can't miss opportunity. I mean, the boom potential for this is so damn high that you'd be a fool not to do it. Now, you might say, what, what, Green, what the fuck is wrong with you? You are a hypocrite. You just flame these guys for not doing this, but now you're mixing me up. Now, let me explain. Do I personally like it? No. But from a financial point of view, it is genius. And there's no draw. It's free views. Because you're damn near creating a cycle at this point. Logan Paul does a Pokemon video. It does extremely well on YouTube's algorithm. You react to it. Gain views. Plus some of his fans. By extension, helping out Logan Paul. And... You know what, it's just a super boost for the Pokemon community, and by extension, Logan Paul has the whole damn Pokemon community in his pocket. He keeps making Pokemon videos, the whole damn cycle continues, which leads to more views and more money. Do I, once again, just to reiterate this on the ending note, do I like what they're doing? Hell no! Do I understand why they're doing it? Hell yeah! If I was in their position, would I be doing this? You bet your ass I would! That's free views! I mean, that's kinda what I'm doing now if you think about it. To kinda just sum this video up, personally, I'm not a fan of it, cause it's pretty much just extremely low effort content just made for money and cuz it's featuring a relevant name but i understand why they gotta do it i understand why it's a smart move now just to wrap this up if you want more rants like this let me down let me know down below in the comments other things i don't know subscribe to the channel i guess watch some more videos but above all else have a good day